Computer chips or semiconductors are the invisible engines powering our digital world. These tiny silicon wafers packed with billions of transistors run everything from smartphones and cars to the data centers behind the internet. The nation that leads in chip technology holds not just economic but strategic power. The U.S. has long dominated advanced chip design and manufacturing tools, fueling its prosperity and military edge. China, meanwhile, is the world's largest chip consumer, yet heavily reliant on imports, a vulnerability Beijing is desperate to fix. Advanced chips are the backbone of AI, quantum computing and next-gen military tech. Control over semiconductors means control over the future of warfare and global influence. Today, the US and China are locked in a high-stakes race for chip supremacy, each seeking technological sovereignty. This rivalry is reshaping global supply chains and setting the stage for a prolonged struggle. The outcome will define the balance of power for decades to come. The U.S. moved to block China's access to advanced chips, citing national security. Officials feared American technology could fuel China's military modernization, especially through military-civil fusion. Taiwan, the world's top chipmaker, sits at the heart of this tension. The U.S. strategy slow China's military rise and protect the global tech supply chain. Economic rivalry also played a role with accusations of IP theft and unfair subsidies by China. By restricting China's access to cutting-edge chips, the U.S. aimed to safeguard its own tech industry and global leadership. The first steps targeted companies like Huawei, placing them on the entity list and cutting off vital U.S. technology. The goal crippled China's tech champions and sent a clear warning. These actions mark the start of a new era, using America's central role in the chip ecosystem as a tool of foreign policy. The message was unmistakable. The U.S. would defend its technological edge at all costs. Realizing that targeting individual firms wasn't enough, the U.S. dramatically expanded its export controls in late 2024. New rules blocked China from buying advanced AI chips and dozens of key manufacturing tools. The aim, stop China from building its own cutting-edge chip factories and freeze its tech progress. The U.S. and allies targeted choke points, like chip design software and high bandwidth memory, where they held a decisive lead. Any chip or equipment above a certain threshold became off-limits, drawing a hard line in the sand. The U.S. also launched a trade probe into China's dominance in older, legacy chips, fearing overproduction could undercut global competitors and create new dependencies. Tariffs loomed as the next weapon in the trade war. This multi-pronged approach aimed to cap China's high-end ambitions and counter its influence in foundational tech. Even as administrations changed, the aggressive posture remained, though some rules, like those on less powerful NVIDIA chips, were tweaked under industry pressure. The US was no longer just staying ahead, it was actively trying to hold China back at every level. The chip war had truly escalated. China responded to US pressure with a massive drive for chip self-sufficiency, framing it as a new long march. The 2023 launch of Huawei's Mate 60 Pro, powered by a domestically made 7 nanometer chip, stunned the world. SMIC, China's top foundry, achieved this using older DUV machines, sidestepping US bans on the latest EUV tech. The Mate 60 Pro became a symbol of resilience, proof that US controls could slow but not stop China's progress. This success fueled national pride and led to even greater state investment, including a $47.5 billion big fund for chip R&D and manufacturing. Yet the road to true self-sufficiency is long. China still imports hundreds of billions in chips each year, far outspending its oil imports. Breakthroughs like the Mate 60 Pro are rare. Mass-producing cutting-edge chips without Western tools remains a huge challenge. China's gamble is costly and ambitious, rebuilding an entire high-tech ecosystem under pressure. But for Beijing, the quest for chip independence is now a matter of national survival. The stakes couldn't be higher. The world is watching to see if China can close the gap. As the US wielded its chip advantage, China struck back by weaponizing its control over critical minerals. These rare earths and metals are essential for semiconductors, EVs, and advanced weapons. In late 2024, Beijing banned exports of gallium, germanium, and antimony to the US, key materials for high-performance chips. The move sent shockwaves through global supply chains, exposing Western dependence on Chinese processing. China controls over 60% of heavy rare earths and 80% of global processing capacity. Even if other countries mine these elements, they often rely on China to refine them. 
The threat of further restrictions on materials like graphite and lithium gives Beijing powerful leverage. The West is scrambling to diversify supplies but building new mines and refineries takes years. For now, China's grip on critical minerals remains a potent tool in the tech war. The U.S. export controls have created hurdles for China but they're far from airtight. Chinese firms have become adept at bypassing restrictions using third-party countries and complex corporate structures to access banned tech. The globalized nature of the industry makes enforcement a constant cat-and-mouse game. Ironically, U.S. sanctions have turbocharged China's own R&D, accelerating breakthroughs like the 7-nanometer chip in the Mate 60 Pro. The gap is narrowing faster than many in Washington expected. Meanwhile, broad controls have caused diplomatic friction, pushing neutral countries to seek alternatives and diversify supply chains. The world is drifting toward fragmented tech blocks, not the unified system the U.S. once led. The policy may be fueling the very decoupling it hoped to prevent. America's lead is under threat, not just from China, but from a splintering global tech order. The chip war's unintended consequences are reshaping the industry. The race is far from over. The U.S.-China chip war is splitting the world into rival tech ecosystems. The era of seamless global supply chains is ending, replaced by two competing blocks, one led by the U.S., the other by China. Countries and companies will increasingly have to pick sides. Diverging standards and platforms could create a digital iron curtain, stifling innovation and raising costs. China is doubling down on tech sovereignty, aiming to design and build every component it needs. The U.S. and allies are rebuilding domestic supply chains, investing in manufacturing and tightening alliances. Policy reversals, like the recent partial easing on AI chip sales, show the complex trade-offs at play. The central challenge? Maintain a technological edge without total isolation. The outcome will shape global power, innovation and security for decades. The chip war is just beginning, and its consequences will be felt worldwide.